definitely a lot of clouds today too. They said it was supposed to rain and I felt a little drop, but no pouring rain or anything like that. And what did I read today? I guess the first one I read was kind of interesting. You read all those stories of people going into space with the billionaires and stuff like that, with the Virgin Galactic being the first and wanting to open up a commercial operation next year. And you're wondering, the price I would assume is really expensive, but how about this? This one says, Virgin Galactic to sell space flight tickets starting at $450,000 a seat. Virgin Galactic has opened sales for the public to buy a ticket to space, with seat prices starting at $450,000. Just a few weeks after the company's billionaire founder, Richard Branson, took a high-profile flight to the edge of space, just ahead of his space tourism rival Amazon's Jeff Bezos. Are there going to be a lot of people fighting over this ticket? $450,000. Would you rather go to space or buy a home? Then again, if you have the money, I guess it's one of those once in a lifetime experience for a lot of people. What else are they going to spend their money on? I guess you could say, huh? And then I saw this, which was kind of interesting, where first I saw the picture, it had like a drone in a spear cage. I've seen the concept before where there was a company who envisioned people will be able to pull a drone out of the drawer, put it in a little spear cage, and then send it out of the window and deliver something like mail. But in this one, it's actually meant for nuclear inspections. It says here, we're excited to announce the Elios 2 RAD, an indoor drone equipped with a radiation sensor for nuclear inspections. And the company here, the flyability, it says they announced the Elios 2 RAD for indoor remote radiation sensing and mapping. Today, Flyability launches the Elios 2 RAD, an indoor drone equipped with a radiation sensor made just for inspections at nuclear stations. I guess with how normally things work, it says nuclear stations typically have personnel devoted to maintaining low radiation exposure levels following the ALARAR requirements. The Elios 2 RAD is designed to help them in their mission to reduce radiation exposure wherever possible. It does this both by taking the place of personnel where possible for visual and radiation data collection and by providing high quality data for planning interventions that do require exposure so that it can be kept to a minimum. That sounds like a good use of the tech and stuff. Use it in situations where it's dangerous for a human to do or just way more efficient. It just makes me think too because with things like over the top regulations, some people would say, why can't they just fly it and get, I don't know, like they say they're doing real estate, get a picture or whatever of their home. No, it's illegal, this and that, even though it's only like, what, that high in the air? Like, what, I don't know, 20 meters or something like that? And whereas you can say, okay, but I'll let you climb a ladder, hold a huge tripod, that is acceptable in terms of, I guess, quote, safety. Because in situations like this, I guess it shows it's just way more efficient in many ways.
Alright, see you guys later.